the joys of owning a boat. So today, I've decided to do a project that I've been kind of really avoiding for the last couple of months, and that is an update to my engine's uh, pulley system. I'm going to change it from a V-belt to a flat belt, almost serpentine. I'll admit my mechanical skills have gotten a little rusty, mostly since I got rid of my RX-7, which I worked on constantly, but we'll see how this goes. First step was to get this nut off of the alternator and the impact driver made easy work of that okay just like that Oops. next I had to loosen up the alternator so the belt will come loose there's a bolt back here I had to loosen and then the lock axle this is not the original alternator that came with my Yanmar this is a Balmar alternator and it's a pretty darn good one. It's a high output with a small computer in the back that manages everything. So, now, loosening it up, <coughs> should be able to get the belt off. There we go. This is the Balmar kit that I bought to change the system over to a flat belt. And it's kind of sexy. First of all, everything is, well, for instance, here's the flat belt section for the alternator. Comes complete with a separator for alignment purposes, but uh, this kit allows the use of this kind of flat belt. It gives more tension and control, less slippage, but it also manages to be something that is fairly easy to replace and put back off and on when a belt goes wrong. It includes the proper glues. This is the water pump piece. And the biggie for the main drive. So with this system, I'll be able to run my alternator at 100% capacity. With the small V-belt, I wasn't able to do that. It was actually programmable to uh, moderate the amount of energy it would take from the belt. Now I can run the alternator at 100% efficiency, shortening charge time. More importantly, I hope to line up the belt better because the old belt system was starting to wear and creating a large amount of belt dust. Belt dust was getting into the alternator and causing it to not cool as efficiently. So I put this system on to reduce that. And of course, Balmar was nice enough to include a great set of instructions for what I needed to do. So here's everything dry fitted into place and what I'm now discovering is the reason why I was having so much dust placed on this is that this alternator is back approximately two to three millimeters. If I set this up correctly, you can see that this mislines with the center portion of this wheel, both of them actually. So I need to find a washer that will hold this out approximately two to three millimeters. If I do that, then I have almost a perfect alignment. And the trick is finding the right washer.
So here are all the pulleys installed and aligned. All the screws that hold the various pulleys in place have been done with Loctite. And more importantly, I managed to get one lock washer that uh, separated this pulley far enough away from the alternator so that the alignment is now a lot better. As you can see, it's lifted off the alternator quite cleanly. And I'm using the original Balmar locks washer behind this pulley to separate it out. I'm going to order another one and then use that in place of the current lock washer I have on there for a more even fit. But the alignment is now correct, which is the real issue I've been dealing with. Okay, I've installed the serpentine belt itself. And when I move the alternator all the way up, let's see here. Okay, that's all the way tagged out. You can see the belt is still really loose. So I'm going to have to move this locking bolt down to this threaded hole so that I can get a little more motion to tighten this belt up correctly. Uh, one of those kind of snags you run into. Well, here's an update. So this last hole right here, which is threaded, because of the shape of the housing behind this, this lovely piece of metal won't allow an alignment of the nut through the hole. So the more I get up there, the more it doesn't want to hold. So the only solution now is to put a nut and bolt through this hole right here, which is a smooth bore. So I have to put a nut and bolt in there to hold it. This is going to be a temporary fix. I've already decided that I'm trying to uh, see if I can get a smaller, shorter belt. This one's 40 inches. Uh, the other thing is I'm probably going to splurge and get something Balmar sells, which is called a, an alternator buddy, which allows you to adjust the tension by turning a bolt. We'll see. Okay, the temporary bolt is in. I've tightened up the uh, alternator uh, support bolts and screws. And the amount of deflection I'm getting is reasonable. I managed to get some half-decent tension on it. So theoretically, it's ready to go. Now some people would think that what I just did is a pain in the butt, and in many ways it is, but part of this is therapy. When you get a job done and you get it working, and then you know what you need to do to make it absolutely perfect, well, that's kind of entertainment in itself. It's one aspect of boat ownership, be it sail or otherwise, that most people don't realize. If you're not handy, you shouldn't be messing with boats. So let's start it up and see if it works. Well, here it is running. Everything's spinning like it should. Everything seems pretty smooth. Belts are clipping just a little bit. And I'm not interested in tightening it until after they, it's had a chance to work in and you know stretch a little bit. I'm relatively pleased. The project's not completed yet. I still want to put something on that allows me to properly tension the belt and handle my alternator with more precision. And I'm still going to look in to see if I can get a shorter belt. But it seems to be working. So I'm adding to this video a little part towards the end here. Uh, I realized after installing the system that I wasn't able to really get the proper tension on it. So I had to add one little device, also from the Balmar company, that's made all the difference in the world. And it's this. You may see it under the alternator there, but it's basically a bolting system that is attached to the alternator and allows me, with just twisting one single bolt, be able to tension the whole thing properly. So now the tension is just right. And because of that, the belt doesn't wobble as much anymore. Especially here, you can see there's only just a little bit of deflection. I was able to tension it perfectly. And this would be the end of this particular project. I recommend the Balmar kit and the Balmar Belt Buddy 
even if you don't have this kit, this really makes a big difference.